Hey, Eddie from the Batcave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm gonna show you my post. It was a heavy week this week, and plus I'm gonna show you my weekend haul and a mail call. All right, but first off, I wanna wish our baby boy, our favorite son, EJ, happy 33, young man. Um, enjoy your day, enjoy the, the kids, and hope you get what you want. So, all right, first off, Binge Comics, startup number two. There we go, I was waiting for this book for a while. Finally showed up. Uh, this young lady who's overweight was trying this new diet drugs, right? And uh, and it turns into a superhero call startup. But when she turns into superhero mode, she's skinny. And then when she's not, she's go back into her normal form. All right, that's from Ben. And look at that. It's a thick book for three ninety nine. That's worth the money right there. Plus some old time um, artist and writer, you know. Covered by Salva Suma. Okay. From DC Comics, Batman and Robin versus Robin number one. I got the variant cover from Josh Middleton. I meant to get this last week. I just love the cover. Story is good, by the way. I read this really good. Look at that cover, Zantana. All right. Marvel, Fantastic Four, number 47. I ended up with the variant cover by... Russell Dorderman. Excuse me if I said the name wrong. There we go. So all these multiple invisible girls here by Sue Storm. Yeah, they did a nice job. This one was a vicious story right there. Her, make, if you ever saw that book or have you read it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Very mean. She was very tough. All right, that's that. Batman and Superman World's Finest number seven by Mark Wade. Josh Middleton cover again. Oh, pretty sweet. Last issue was okay. You know, was um, I'm hoping this one's a little different. I know there's a sidekick involved on this. All right. New from DC, Harlequin number one, 30th anniversary. I got the variant cover by, and I can't pronounce his name correctly, so forgive me. Sajik? Sajik? Yeah, let me see if I can read that. So I'm tearing up that name. Oh. Stefan Sejik, okay? I got this. That's that. Now, this is a $9.99 book. Again, I wouldn't be buying the extra if I did not get my discount. I'm not sure if it's worth the $9.99. You know, that's that. And then you look at Startup for $3.99. You can see the... But on this one, I glimpsed through it pretty quick, and it has the... All the other variant covers in here. Okay, so you can check that out. Okay, Nightwing number 96. I read this before I came out and it was really good. I got the Brady Bunch version, I call that. Really, really good. Last issue, Blockbuster knew who he was because he beat the crap out of him. This issue, yeah. Nick got some kicks. I mean, Nightwing got some kicks in. Pretty good, pretty good. If you're not reading Nightwing, guys gotta jump on that. Also from DC, Deceased, War of the Undead Gods. I got the acetate cover. Acetate there. Now this is pretty good, I haven't read it yet. The first issue was good. It opened up where, well last issue, opened up where Supergirl landed on this planet to be safe, you know, an alternate timeline. And she landed on the planet where the gods were, and yeah, it was not good for her after that. But look at this, huh? Pretty nice. All right, let me show you my weekend haul. Eclipso, I think I got this for a buck, buck fifty from um, Zombie Hideout. But with this one, it has that little gem of his. Can you see that? Got that. Uh, got Lone Ranger for Dynamite number one. I thought it was the other Lone Ranger series. I got the wrong series. But Alex Ross cover. Gonna resist that. Also, Fantastic Four number 20, uh, 245. John Byrne cover. First appearance of Avatar. There you go. According to this, I didn't even see that. <laughs> that was for a buck. Fantastic Four, 225. There we go. That's that. 
Uh, let me see. Okay. And I went to Ollie's because they were advertising some big books and stuff like that. There was nothing really there. I missed out on something big if there was anything. But I ended up picking up the Flash Rebirth. JF Jones and Ivan Riaz. Was it four bucks for a trade? Originally priced at four, 15. Can't wait to read that. Mail call from eBay seller Notorious Books. It was Dark Crisis number three. Did not realize that they did a variant cover with the, um, the Justice Society. I'm kind of old school. I used to like their writings, um, their stories back in the day. And then Mark Wade and GF Jones did the whole thing with them. And also they did a variant. This is by Dan Mora, Black Canary, the sidekick. What is her name? Don't know her name. But well, she's the sidekick of Black, or Red Canary. There we go. All right. That's that. And the only reason why I bought it was because I saw it online. I said, oh my God, I didn't even realize it came up. And, and this right here alone. About time Black Canary had a sidekick, huh? What do you guys think? I mean, it, Green Arrow had Speedy. Superman got his son. Batman got Robin. All right. Flash got Wally. Okay. Well, that's it. All right, guys. That's all I have for you today. Anything you guys want to talk about, you give me a holler. You let me know. As always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.